What's up guys, Fortstock82 here, back with you, and I am in an online dynasty run by Blue Devils Fan 3 on Twitter, and I am the Troy Trojans, and the rest of them are FCS teams. So, this is the first game of that, um, as you can see, I'm kicking it off now. I don't know if you saw it in the beginning, but UL Monroe is actually a C plus overall, and I'm a C overall, but I mean, that really doesn't matter, I should definitely beat them. But anyway, here they are, getting off to a quick start with a very good kick return and then a 7-yard reception by Jerron Haim. Uh, they did not convert on that third down, so they try a prayer of a field goal, which goes wide to the left. So here I am taking over on 2nd and down, 2nd and 10, and I throw a nice little uh, screen pass to my wide receiver, which works out pretty nicely. And here, that six yard rush by Kerry Franklin is actually one of the most successful running plays that I had all day. I simply, for some reason, could not get my running game going in this game. So here I am on a third and seven. I try to get to the outside with Franklin, and I do. I pick up the first down very clutchly on the third and seven. On that third down, my pass gets batted. It was gonna be a great throw, but here I am trying this field goal. I feel like I should easily make it, and I come up short. I mean, that couldn't have been more than like 40 yards, so I have to keep that in mind for the rest of the season. And as you can see there, I whiff. I, I, I played the read option pretty well, but I just whiffed on the tackle. Again, same thing happens. This uh, The computer was just running the uh, read option all the time with that brown quarterback, so... But here I'm able to get some pr pressure on him and sack him. So that leads to this third down and 20 where he throws a beautiful pass and gets 24 yards. Oh my gosh. Anyway, of course they score on a four-yard touchdown. So now I'm down 7 to nothing with a minute left in the first quarter. Uh, it's a really nice throw there to Chris Williams. And now we're in the second quarter, still down 7 nothing. Robinson rolling out, finds someone, but awful throw, gets picked off by Lewis, and that is the first of many, many turnovers that you will see in this game today. So on this second down, they convert, no really surprise there. Second and five, they're in prime scoring position, and on a slant route across the field, Jerron Ham catches the ball for a six yard touchdown. And as you can see, their defense is doing amazing. They only let up 47 yards. They had a sack. They had an interception. So I really need to get some offense moving right here. And as you can see on the wheel route, my wide receiver is kind of open, but he gets undercut by Smith. And Smith is taking it the other way. This is a terrible start to this game. It's 14-0. I just have to stop them so they don't make it 21 nothing, because then the game would pretty much be over. But that option run for 16 yards does not help that. So, first and goal for them. I stop them there barely on like the one yard line, but it is a stop. So now it's third and goal. They hand the ball off, but it gets stopped. So, they attempt the field goal, which is a chip shot, so they obviously make it. So it's now 17 and nothing. Before the half, I really need some points if I want to claw my way back into this game. But nope. I threw another pick to Coleman. Oh my gosh, I cannot th stop throwing picks today for some reason. But on third and inches, I bring the complete heat and he gets sacked. So like I said before, no running game. I haven't been showing a lot of my plays because there's really been nothing to show because I've just been failing on run attempts. But there's a nice pass to Chandler Worthy. And here's a run attempt that actually gets a first down on a four-yard rush. So two minutes left. I'm driving. A nice throw there. And my receiver gets out of bounds. Eric Thomas, that is. So now Robinson dropping back. All right. Nice pass to Brandon Brooks there. So we're kind of getting a little bit of uh, rhythm into our offense. A nice pass there to BJ Chitty. Really great catch, and we're using the time perfectly right now. So we do end up scoring, finally. And here you can see the different yards for the different quarters. They're still out gaining me, but all my interceptions have... I mean, they've really been the difference. So now they're looking to go and score and he actually had a receiver wide open down the middle that he didn't see but 
So he gets sacked, and that will lead us into the second half. And uh oh, I'm showing special teams. I don't like to show special teams. I don't like to show. Okay, I'm not wiser. Anyway, that will lead to this first down where Robinson drops back. And oh my gosh, see, that was really the difference between the first half and the second half. The first half, any single time I had a bad throw, it would just get devoured by their quarterbacks. They were not dropping anything. But in the second half, I actually got a little bit more leeway. I'm throwing more curls and out routes. I'm being smarter with the football. And as you can see, that leads to me driving down the field, converting on this third and five. So now I'm in prime position to score. Uh, nice little drag route. I've been using the, utilizing the drag routes more too. So, really, that's what you got to do in this game. And here it is, finally, the culmination of the drive, an Eric Thomas touchdown pass. I'm now outgaining them, more first downs, more plays, but that is obviously because of my turnovers. Third and ten, they try the screen pass, and they get snuffed out. So it's 17-14. to 14. I have the ball back. I'm looking good. But I still cannot get a rush game going. So now it is third and seven. Wise wide open, so I give it to him. Williams on the 11 yard reception. Here's a toss play that actually ended up working. So I kept calling this play over and over again in the later stages of the game. And you will see how that works out. So yeah, seven rushes for 16 yards is pretty terrible. But um, worthy with a nine yard reception. I am now over midfield. Well, now I think I'm over midfield with a Kerry Franklin 11 yard reception. Feeling good. Driving the ball pretty well. Robinson, sack, fumble. Thankfully, I pick it up. I don't really know how. But unfortunately, on this third and 24, I do not convert. So that's one wasted opportunity in this game. Third and nine, they get the ball back. I'm playing a little bit of zone, but I should have played that zone because Jerron Ham burns me down the sideline for a huge gain. They're now at midfield, but oh, now I have a sack fumble, but I cannot pick it up, unfortunately. So, Brown drops back to pass. He throws it, and Davis should easily be getting an interception. Chris Davis, come on, man. You really got to pick it off in such a pivotal moment such as that one. Anyway, Robinson... A nice throw there to Worthy on the C route. That's really a great throw by him, as you can see on the replay. So, now we're trying to screen pass to get a little fancy up in here. But that is not successful at all with a negative two-yard gain. So, I change my receiver to a wheel route. I try to get it to him. And he rolls forward for the first down. We are halfway through the fourth quarter, and I am driving. Unfortunately, I try that dumb toss play again and get negative six yards. Oh, no. I forced the ball in. My fourth turnover. Oh, no. I forced the ball into my receiver, and Lewis picked me off. So on first down, we stopped them. Good. We need, we need three straight stops right here. I did not use a timeout because I had faith in my defense. That is only a two-yard reception, so that doesn't get them anywhere. And a sack. Brill Brown is sacked. We're now trying the read option to get ourselves down the field. And, hey, this is working out pretty nice. Ten yards on that first one. So now Robinson dropping back. He sees the guy in the fly. He did not force a throw that time like we did earlier, which is very good. My wide receiver was wide open. On, I mean, my running back was wide open on that play. But Eric Thomas went up and made a great play on the ball. That's the type of play that wins you games, really. So now we're looking at us to be in pretty good position. 40 seconds left. Uh, I run again, but whatever. I still have three timeouts. We're at like... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this, actually. Franklin gets hurt here, which is actually pretty good because he stinks. <laughs> but anyway, we're now at the 9-yard line with 30 seconds left. And actually, check this out. So I call the play, and the play clock and the clock decelerate to a really low time, taking up most of my time, making this my last play that I could attempt in regulation before having to kick the field goal. I would have liked if the clock did not do that. 
and I could have had a couple more plays to try to get myself in the end zone. But as you can see, tons of wasted opportunities by me forcing this game to go into overtime. So you want to win the toss in overtime, and you want to pick defense. Unfortunately, we lose, and they pick defense. So here we are. First play in overtime. Oh my gosh, that could have easily been picked off. That would have been terrible, but... Oh, there you can see Franklin is out for four weeks, but we don't need him. We got Robinson on the read option running right up the middle for a yard. So here it is. Robinson, no one open. What is he going to do? Oh, he throws it to Lee, but he drops it. Now on third down, throws it to Y. Oh, no. Oh, what? No, it gets picked off and no one's going to catch him. Spoiler alert, that really fat offensive guard number 58 cannot catch him, and that's the game. The game's over. I threw a pick six. I've had 50 pass attempts, and I lose. So, anyway, we're back in the main menu, doing a little recruiting. If you don't want to see us, you can just fast forward through it. But as you can see, I'm on the lookout for a couple guys. I'm not really going after too many people, but I do need a couple to... uh further my team. I don't know really why I put all my points on that. Yeah, 53. That was a good move by me, uh, decreasing it. I'm in the lead for those defensive tackles, and I'm in the lead for those cornerbacks. So, tune back next time to see what happens in the second week. I'll see you later.